The universe is home to over 100 billion galaxies. Each galaxy hosts some 100 million stars. Every star is potentially a host to its own planetary system, all governed by a cosmic law. This is Wahi, your virtual passport through space and time. Our first stop is a sacred spot of the Islamic faith. The sacred city of Mecca, birthplace of Islam. How did this place come to be the holy site for Muslims? Islamic scholars dated back to the times of the prophet Abraham, father of the Abrahamic faiths and messenger of Allah. The Kaaba is believed to be the house of Allah on earth, first built by angels, then rebuilt by Abraham, and then later rebuilt by Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon them. Muslims from around the world come to the Grand Mosque of Mecca to perform two pilgrimages, Hajj and Umrah. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam, takes place once a year. Umrah, on the other hand, can be performed at any time in the year. Both pilgrimages entail similar rituals. Let's step in a little closer to the Kaaba. Tawaf, a ritual performed in both Hajj and Umrah. It's a ceremonial practice that's been done for centuries. Pilgrims walk around the Kaaba seven times. Historians agree that this ritual started in the days of Prophet Abraham. The Kaaba is covered in a black silk called the Kiswa. This fine piece of garment is changed every year. The Kaaba was built around the black stone. We'll come to that later, but observe the pilgrims as they perform Tawaf. As we make our journeys around the Kaaba, there are a few things you need to know. Keep an eye out for a green light. This aligns with the black stone, and every time a pilgrim approaches it, they raise their right hand towards the Kaaba and make a takbir, Bismillah Allahu Akbar, a declaration by the name of Allah, the Magnificent. Let's proceed. The Kaaba underwent extensive modifications through history. The first was done by the Caliphs, Omar and Uthman to accommodate the growing number of pilgrims around 634 to 656 CE. The last modification was carried out by the government of Saudi Arabia in the 1950s and until this very day. Today, the Grand Mosque of Mecca has the capacity to host 3.6 million worshipers. The Kaaba was built around a sacred stone referred to as the Black Stone. Let's get a closer look. It's every pilgrim's goal to touch this sacred stone. Some consider it a crucial part of the Tawaf ritual, which is why you see guards standing around the stone. Once the Tawaf is complete, the second ritual is praying by the station of Abraham. It's believed that Abraham used the stone to call people for prayer, as ordered by God after the completion of the Kaaba. Another narration says that Abraham stood on this stone while constructing the top of the Kaaba, and his footprint remained on the stone. Safa and Marwa were two hills that Hajar ran back and forth from, desperate for any sign of aid. She climbed up to the top of the hills to check on her son, Ismail. She then traveled back and forth seven times, and the ritual requires the same journey. To compensate for the large number of visitors, an expansion to Safa and Marwa was made to four floors on top of one another. Oh, 
The kings of Saudi Arabia have contributed a generous amount of money in the maintenance of the sacred site to accommodate the large amount of visitors and provide the best worship experience to all. The pursuit of knowledge is encouraged by the Islamic faith and it's made accessible to all here in the Grand Mosque. facilities this sacred site has to offer is Quran Education Circles, where Muslims come together to learn and understand the Book of Allah. The Grand Mosque is equipped with state-of-the-art surveillance equipment to ensure the safety of all pilgrims and visitors of the House of Allah. Security is not the only thing done to keep this holy place peaceful. Here, a group of young adults practice the art of designing the Kizwa, the black silk covering the Kaaba. Someday, if they're lucky enough, they'll be a part of the team that sews the actual Kizwa. It's been a long day here in Mecca. By now, you've experienced a glimpse of the Islamic tradition here in Mecca. I hope that someday, you get to visit this holy land in person and breathe in the spiritual energy that surrounds it. But for now, as they say, all good things must come to an end. But with Wahi, that's not the case. We look forward to taking you on more adventures to other fascinating sites around the world. Remember, this is Wahi, your virtual passport through space and time. I'll leave you with this Meccan sunset. See you next time.